Cannabis can be ingested in many different forms. One form is inhaling THC, another form is eating it, um, and another potential form is a topical formation or an eye drop. We know that inhaled THC can in fact lower the eye pressure for about three to four hours, but for it to really have an impact on glaucoma, you'd have to smoke it a few times a day, every day, and that's really not practical in terms of daily living. You wouldn't be able to drive or work and do many other things. Um, in terms of eating or ingesting cannabis, uh, like edibles, for example, or maybe tinctures, we know that um, ingesting a cannabis, well, we don't really know like what the metabolism is like or what the dosing is, and so we cannot recommend it as a treatment option. It's never been shown to statistically sig significantly lower the eye pressure or have an effect on glaucoma. CBD, like tinctures or oils, have the potential to increase eye pressure, so I'd be very careful with that. Uh, please don't take that lightly. And in terms of eye drops, well, they've actually tried to come up with eye drop forms of cannabis. However, it's not soluble, and so they've never been able to come up with an eye drop that doesn't have lots and lots of side effects. So there's really pros and cons of this question here. But overall, I'd say that it's really important to consult with your doctor because although we know that inhaling THC can lower the eye pressure, it's really not a practical uh, form of treatment. And um, that CBD has the potential to increase eye pressure. There is actually a lot that we're still trying to figure out with glaucoma and what causes glaucoma. Eye pressure is just one component of that. And so my bottom line is, please talk to your doctor, consult your doctor for um, recommendations on treatment plans.